Welcome to thermodynamics course and our first topic will be about the conservation of mass. So the mass of a body is the absolute quantity of matter in it while the weight of a body means the force of gravity or denoted as Fg on the body. So the weight has the formula or the Fg or the force of gravity has the formula of m times g or the mass multiplied by the gravitational constant or acceleration at 9.8066 meters per second squared or equal to 32.174 feet per second squared. And so these are the units of conversion on mass and weight. One newton is equivalent to one kilogram mass times, uh, times meters per second squared. One dyne is equal to one gram of mass times centimeter per second squared, then one pound force is equivalent to one slug feet per second squared, one kilogram force is 9.81 newtons, one gram force is 980.66 dynes, and then one slug is 32.174 pound mass. And so for example, we have to find the weight of a 66 kilogram man at standard condition. We have to express it in newton and in kilogram force. So the given is that the mass is 66 kilograms and then the constant g or the gravitational acceleration is equal to 9.8066 meters per second squared. And then using the formula, weight is equal to mass times gravity that is 66 times 9.8066 that is equal to 647.24 kilogram meters per second squared. And then we have to express it in newtons since one newton is one kilogram mass meters per second squared. So we can cancel that out and 647.24 newton is our weight. For the kilogram force, we just have to convert 647.24 newton and by dividing it by 9.8066 newton, and then cancelling out the newton, the answer will be 66 kilogram force. Next example, the weight of an object is 50 pounds. What is its mass at standard condition in slugs and in pound mass? So the given is 50 pound force as our weight. And then G is equal to 32.174 feet per second squared since pound is in English unit. So using the formula for mass, that is weight divided by the G, that is 50 pound force divided by 32.174 feet per second squared and then converting it in order for us to obtain the answer in slugs so we have to use the conversion unit one slug feet per second squared is one pound force and cancelling out the pound force cancelling out the feet per second squared and the answer will be 1.55 slugs and then we have to convert the slugs into pound mass that is equivalent to 32.174 pound mass per slug and so the slug will be cancelled so our answer will be 50 pound mass. The law of conservation of mass states that mass is indestructible. The quantity of fluid passing through a given section is given by the formula V is equal to A times the V or the average speed where this V with dot at the bottom is symbolized as the volume flow rate. A is the cross in A is the cross sectional area of the stream and then V is the average speed. The mass flow rate is stated in the formula M is equal to the V or the volume flow rate divided by the specific volume and since volume flow rate is equal to area times the average speed, we substitute that to the volume flow rate here and then dividing by specific volume. And since specific volume is the reciprocal of density, so the mass flow rate can be also equated by the cross-sectional area times the average speed times the density. And then applying the law of conservation of mass, we have M1 or the mass flow rate 1 will be equal to the mass flow rate 2 at different sections 
for example, of a pipe. The formulas for the first section and the second section can be equal. So, area 1 times the average speed 1 times the density 1 is equal to the area 2 times the average speed 2 times the density 2. So, for example, a fluid moves in a steady flow manner between two sections in a vessel at entrance. The area 1 is given and the density 1 is given at exit. Area 2, specific volume 2, and then the average speed 2 is given. And so we have to compute for the mass flow rate and the speed at the entrance. So for the mass flow rate, using this formula, for the mass flow rate at the exit section, since we can obtain for the mass flow rate using these values, because the mass flow rate at the exit and the entrance is the same according to the law of conservation of mass. So our area is 10 centimeters squared times the average speed that is third that is 3048 centimeters per minute divided by 249.5 cubic centimeter per gram mass and then cancelling out the 3 centimeters from the numerator by the centimeter cube at the denominator so the answer will be 122.2 grams mass per minute that is the mass flow rate at the exit and of course at the entrance section so since m1 is equal to m2 that is equal to 122.2 gram mass per minute and so we can use the m2 as our m1 and then we are going to substitute it in the mass flow rate formula in order to find for the average speed at the entrance so the mass flow rate is solved 122.2 the area is given and the density is given so mass is 122.2 area is 20 and then density is 1878 and then we have to convert uh, we have to convert the grams and the kilograms in order for us to have a matching unit so cancelling out grams and kilograms and then converting also the centimeter and the meter and then cancelling out the centimeter squared and the meter squared one unit of meter remains here cancelling out 1000 also as converting factor that is equal to 0 0.033 meters per minute second example two gaseous streams enter a combining tube and leave as a single mixture at the entrance section for one gas a1 is given specific volume 1 is given and the average speed 1 for the other gas area is given mass flow rate is given and the density at exit the average speed is given and the specific volume is given find the speed at section 2 and the mass flow rate and the area at the exit so first we have to solve for the speed at the section 2 or v2 that is equal to the mass flow rate divided by area 2 times density 2 and since the mass flow rate is 16.67 pound mass per second divided by 50 inches squared and then the density is 0.12 pound mass per feet cube and cancelling out pound mass while we are going to convert inches to feet that is 144 inches squared per 1 foot squared cancelling out inches squared cancelling out foot squared so there is a remaining feet out from the cube and the squared so that is 400 feet per second or fps 400 fps the speed at section 2 next we are going to solve for the mass flow rate at the exit section but before that we must solve first for the mass flow rate at the section 1 at the entrance because mass flow rate 2 is already given here but the mass flow rate at section 1 is not given so we have to solve first for that that is m1 is equal to a1 times the average speed 1 divided by the specific volume 1 so area is equal to 75 inches squared the average speed is 500 and then the specific volume is 10 feet cube per pound mass and then 
converting the inches squared to feet squared. So, cancelling out inches squared and cancelling out the feet cube since one unit of 1 degree of feet here and then 2 degrees of feet here can be cancelled by the third degree of the feet at our denominator. And so, our mass flow rate is equal to 26.04 pound mass per second. And then adding the two mass flow rates for the exit section, that is 26.04, our mass flow rate 1, plus 16.67, our mass flow rate 2, that is equal to 42.71 pound mass per second. The next is, we are going to solve for the area at the exit. So using this formula, the mass flow rate is 42.71 pound mass per second. The specific volume at the exit section is 7 feet cube per pound mass divided by 350 feet per second, our average speed at the exit section. And so, cancelling out the pound mass, cancelling out the second, and then cancelling out 1 degree of feet in order for us to obtain feet squared as our final unit for the area that is equal to 0.8542 feet squared. And so that is it for the conservation of mass for our next topic that is all about the conservation of energy for your questions, comment on our discussion.